Hello beautiful Leos, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot. I would love it if you would leave comments below about any suggestions or requests you may have to do a reading for the collective that might be interesting for everyone. Uh, we just did a career reading. We just did a how you can help your person open up their feelings more. And really, they were kind of cool collective, so nice energy. At the bottom of the deck, Leo, for love at this time, you and your person are throwing caution to the winds. I like it. Playful energy. You're very curious about each other. You're very flirty. Uh, you're you're watching each other very very closely. The one would never know it because you will not. Uh, it's a little bit secretive. We have the detective's eyeglass here. The energy that you're bringing into the reading, Leo, is the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to make a substantial offer to someone. You may receive an offer from someone, but you're feeling very solid and grounded about an Aries Queen. We get the energy here of a very passionate, sexy business person. The, the Aries Queen is a sharp end of the spear, highly talented, very gifted at marketing. This is a person who is a problem solver, and they love, love, love what they do. A very passionate person. And Leo, that's just your cup of tea. You are in a fellow fire sign. We also have, we look at the Page of Wands energy. It is also Aries energy can be Sagittarius or Leo also. So, Leo, you are falling in love. Page of Cups, look at you. You're making, you're feeling a little awkward. You don't know quite what to do. You feel a little bit, you feel like your person's very beautiful, very desirable. You're feeling a little bit shy, a little bit helpless here. Leo, that's unlike you. You're usually just right out there, large and in charge. You are weak in the knees for this person. The energy that your person has is justice. You may be dealing with a Libra. That is, your person wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That is the seventh house of Libra, which rules marriage on the astrological wheel. So your person is very much uh, desirous of a committed, balanced relationship. Your person is thinking in serious terms about their long-term objectives and goals. They would also cut anybody or anything out of their life that they didn't feel was fair or healthy or balanced for them. We have the lover's card, Gemini energy. Your person is very attracted to you. They feel as though you're highly unusual. They feel as though you're a soulmate. They love you. The lover's card is also about making a choice. They do see you as being very different from them. We get the six of pentacles. They want to give to the relationship. They want equal give and take. They want to spend time with you. They want to enjoy getting to know you. The Six of Pentacles is really about being generous with each other. In terms of your outcome short term, we've got Virgo energy. Willing to do the work is your outcome with each other. Ten of Pentacles is also a legacy relationship, so you're on the same page on that. You both want to have something that's valuable, that it will endure time, that's balanced, that's exciting. I think that your person is more focused on outcome than you are at this time. I think you're sort of smelling the roses, enjoying the moment, and you're going to see what unfolds. We do see the there's some confusion between the two of you. There's something that's gone unsaid. Both of you are feeling a little bit vulnerable. You don't really know what direction this will head. Pisces energy is the energy of what you can't see in the night. It's subconscious. It can be fears. It can be a sense of being really vulnerable and putting yourself out there in a way that feels a bit uncomfortable. But we get the Empress energy manifestation. I love the Empress card. Your outcome at this time is that both of you step into this beautiful Empress energy. You both embrace this. You both want to give to it. It's very exciting. So I see you, Leo, being much more conservative, much more reserved. Your person really knows what they want. They're just going to put it on the table. The two of you don't know what will happen, but that is the nature of love. So let's jump in and clarify these cards. But let's look at the overall messages from Spirit before we do that. What do we have? Messages from Spirit, please, for our beautiful Leo friends. What is it that they need to know? 
Let's see what we have here about this relationship or the potential at this time for the relationship. We have uncertainty. Well, that makes sense. that makes a lot of sense. Thicket of thorns. Okay, so there might be something in this situation that's making both of you feel uncomfortable. Um, and the reality is, is that there is something that may be hidden. Maybe isn't, yeah, I don't think either of you are aware of it at this time. We see flexibility. Both of you will be required to be flexible for this to be able to become something that you both enjoy thoroughly. Flexible is always good, right? And transmutation, phoenix rising from the ashes. So what I'm seeing, when I get the phoenix rising, there's been a an ending and a new beginning is starting with the two of you. Um, one of you may have gone through a very difficult situation in the recent past. Could be anything, could be a divorce, but an ending could be the loss of a job or a lifestyle or moving. But I'm, you know, when I get the justice card, I think that one of you has gone probably through some sort of legal uh, breakup with someone, either living together with them and or having been married to somebody. So let's see what the clarifiers are here. So what do we have for the page of wands? Why is the page of wands here for our beautiful Leo friends? Page of wands, Sagittarius energy, curious, playful, delightful. You might be very different from each other. That big eyeglass though shows that you have sort of this feeling that the other person is very special. Both of you have gone through a period of time in your lives of sadness. The Five of Cups says that the energy in this reading speaks to the fact that both of you have had wounds and that both of you are feeling very vulnerable. We get the World card. You want to step into the energy, go to the next level. You really want to be very successful. Both of you view one another as someone with whom you could have that. The High Priestess, using your intuition, instinctively moving towards a person that you think that you can evolve with. We get Two of Swords. Again, not really taking a lot of action here. So there's not a lot of momentum, but there's a lot of very thoughtful consideration here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Lover's card. Oh, your person does see you as a lover also. There is a strong feeling that you could be soulmates. I don't think you're saying it to each other, but you have a mutual attraction that's very intense. Gemini energy. You're both very, you're thinking about each other a great deal. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Chariot card. Honey, I'm home. Oh, that's somebody who wants to, Leo, I think you really want to go see this person. I feel as though you are very enchanted by them. We get that Queen of Wands energy. She is sexy. She is charming. She's funny. She's smart. You really want to spend time with this person. And yet you're really keeping it pretty, pretty hidden. What's showing to your person is not what's going on beneath the surface with you. You want to invest. Okay, Seven of Coins. You've known this person long enough to have some idea of who they are realistically. I feel as though you may have worked together. Why is your person feeling like they need to be very balanced? What is this justice card? What does it represent in the relationship? Eight of Coins, get to know you, get to know all about you. Um, they feel as though the two of you, again, I get that you've worked together. Seven of Coins to the Eight of Coins. It's really mastering your skills, your, your ability to figure out. Your person really wants to figure out what the two of you can have together. The energy of the Lover's card is clarified by the Mother of Cups. Your person may really actually already be in love with you with that Mother of Cups energy, Cancerian energy. They want to nurture the relationship, but they have not told you that Eight of Swords is holding themselves back. The Judgment card, Six of Pentacles. They've made the decision. They feel as though you're the one. They haven't told you. They Again, they want to get to know you better. Judgment and Justice card does mean that it's very likely that your person, Leo, and energies can be reversed, uh, your person may have gone through a divorce, and they're coming out of it, and it looks like they really feel as though you could be the one. The other potential here is that, you know, you've known each other, and you, 
their inspirational love and a passion for you maybe motivated them to finish off a relationship that wasn't working. Okay, what do we have here for the Ten of Pentacles? We have the Star card. Look at that. Oh, man. Legacy love. The Star card. Very spiritual. The Ten of Pentacles is all about having a beautiful home. It's about marriage. It's about generational wealth, abundance, happiness, and joy. Creating a legacy for generations that follow. Taking care of the generations that brought you into life together. The star card says that both of you are on the same page in your value system. The Hierophant. But, well, it looks like there is some question. It does look like your person may not be totally comfortable, nor you, um, at this present time. Though you fantasize about being married in a committed, happy, traditional relationship, Taurus energy with the Empress. I think it's a very strong vibe. Both of you value that the idea of being married, but right now I just see you not willing to, you know, you're just going to live with the fear and see how things unfold. You're going to deal with it. Right now there is some fear of commitment for both of you. The Emperor card is clarifying the Empress. Now what were the odds of that, my friends? Oh my goodness, this is coming to fruition. You may feel very vulnerable. This phoenix rising from the ashes looks like the two of you have been healing. I feel again that you've known each other. I feel as though it's been a bit thorny up here because it's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's like thorns, you know, thicket of thorns, uncertainty, not knowing whether this relationship can be what you want it to be. But I feel as though you've, you're madly in love and I feel as though you spent some time alone. I, I'm really getting the feeling that, you know, you haven't acted on this until there was a big change. Until somebody stepped forward here, and Leo, I really think it's more your person. You may have shared something, though, with them. You may have been very flirty. You may have said, you know, I really love, I would love to, to get to know you better. And But the Phoenix is also, you know, another indicator of divorce for someone in this relationship. Single now, though. Single and ready to mingle. So let's look and see what we have for the energies of that are confusing here. Tell us why, please, Spirit, that this person that Leo is interested in definitely wants to nurture the relationship but is holding back. Why is this person holding back? What's the meaning of that Eight of Swords energy for Leo's person at this time, Spirit? We see the energy of the Lady of the Unicorns. So your person thinks you're highly unusual, and that is very easy, easily indicated here by the fact that we have a bird, somebody of a different species, that different. There's butterflies, but your person is very worried that you may be looking for novelty or you may like them for the wrong reasons or that you may find this to be a passing fancy for, for your, in terms of your life. What judgment are they making about giving to the relationship? The hero, your person's in it to win it. They absolutely want to cut through any debris. They want the transformation. Why is it that the two of you didn't speak for a while? Why was there a feeling of being left in the cold, a child? Oftentimes that happens during a marriage is that, you know, we stay in a relationship past the point of being healthy because we have children. It's noble, you know, it's it's a worthy, absolutely a worthy um, goal to take care of the children in our lives, always, always, always. Why do we have the tower card here for you, the smith? Working on this, you know, being flexible, figuring things out, figuring out how to make things work, being happy to work on it, doing the right thing, um, why do we have such fear, though, about marriage? Just feeling as though sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes just, you know, taking that leap of faith is very risky. Why else do we have that? The returning and the fixer. Okay, so what we see here is that one or both of you has really had a tough go of it. And it looks as though, 
you could have been in relationship with this person for a while and then there was a return to a marriage there was a period of time and the example I would give is you're in love with another person you're married you're not very happily married the marriage is not particularly healthy or good and so but you return to the marriage you say look at whether it's Leo you saying it or them saying it to you I think it's them saying it to you that I don't want to whitewash over this I want to take this seriously I don't want to um, sweep problems under the rug with the fixer I want to go back and I want to see if I can make it work and if I can't I'll be back I will return and so when we get this energy of return that's what's feeling a little uncertain what is the energy here of the phoenix rising from the ashes a lady of joy there we go a new beginning beautiful energy leo take care thank you bye-bye